hey everybody, it is, I don't even know what day it is anymore, um, it's the day after my birthday, so today is January 11th, it is a Friday, TGI, mother effing F, um, I really don't want to be on camera, I feel like poop, I look like poop, my house is a mess, can you see, can you see? Um, but I felt like, again, I was neglecting vlog time, and I've just been in a really crappy mood, and I just, I don't know. I was so gun ho to be like, yes, this is the year, it's gonna work, this is, I'm gonna be better, I'm gonna stay positive, I'm not gonna care what people think, and to be honest with you guys, like, 100%, I haven't picked up the camera to vlog because I haven't wanted to be on the vlog because I don't want anybody looking at me. <laughs> like, do you guys get that ever? Like, does anybody else that vlogs or have a channel or anything, like, is that, does that happen where you're just like, Phew. some days you can amp yourself up and be like, I don't care. I don't care if I got bags under my eyes. I don't care. I don't care if I look like a scrub. And then you realize, oh, but I do, oh, but I do. Um, I am just staying at home today. I know there was a bunch of you that asked me if I was going to do a birthday vlog, um, but I didn't do anything. So I didn't feel like that was really obviously something that I could turn into a full vlog or anything like that. Um, I, Cleo. I ended up waking up yesterday morning and Jasmine was sick, so Jazzy stayed home on my birthday, which really stinks because she was sick, but this mama got snuggles and cuddles all day long, so best birthday gift you could ask for. Um, not that I was happy she was sick, but as pathetic as it sounds, I was happy that I just was with someone and had someone to spend the day with, even if it was on the couch. Um, watching cartoons and, and stuff with jazz. So that is what I did for the majority of the day. Um, my brother and Holly and my niece and nephew sent me flowers. Um, I'll put a picture in over here. They were so pretty, you guys. It was... It was what I needed to kind of brighten up the day, I guess. Um, and the lady that does them, um, that has the flower shop in town here, is she's amazing. I love her. She is just... There's no words. We'll put it that way. Um, she has an amazing talent when it comes to, I'm sure, a lot of things. But um, flowers, in general, amazing. So, other than that, we went to, we went to my mom's. My mommy made me an angel food cake this year. Every year I usually have a red velvet cake that she makes me. But this year, I don't know, maybe it was like 37 and I wanted to live on the edge. Um, I wanted to do something different. And she was like, do you want your red velvet cake? And I was like, no, actually you should make an angel food cake. Because those are yummy too. And... That's what she did. So we went there and she made a tater tot kind of casserole dish and we ate at my mom's and we had cake and ice cream and then we came home and I snuggled with Jazzy some more. And that was about it. That was it for the birthday vlog. There, summed it all up right here, right now. Um... Sorry guys, I was trying to clear this notification off my phone. So, today now, Friday the 11th, I think I said that, I don't know, um, I have so many dishes to do, I have laundry to do, bills to pay, no money to pay them, <laughs> yeah, so 2019 is just starting off wonderfully, so wonderfully. 
So I'm forcing myself to be in front of the camera and I don't want to and there's probably horrible lighting because I'm standing in like the middle of my kitchen being a bum and I shouldn't even say being a bum because I actually kind of put makeup on a little bit and um, I've already started making supper. Let me turn this around and I'll show you guys what I got going on. Okay, so like I said, don't mind my messy kitchen, but I am trying a new recipe. I don't even want to say it's, <laughs> there is no recipe. I kind of just threw it together. Um, I have scalped potatoes in here and ham chunks and I have a can of cheddar um, soup and I also have a can of why I decided to put this in, I don't know, but I put in a can of cream of potato and cream of cream of mushroom and then a bunch extra cheese and I put in two packets of the ranch um, like powder mix and this is going to be like a cheesy ranch a gratin ham something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, this is what I decided I was going to throw together for supper. And if I can put this on here correctly without breaking everything. Huh, I have all these wonderful dishes to do. You guys want to see dirty dishes? Yay! Dirty dishes! Not. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> Why would I just put it in pictures when I can show you the pretty, pretty, pretty flowers that my brother and my sister-in-law and Holly, that is my sister-in-law. So, my brother Justin, my sister-in-law Holly, my niece Ireland, and my nephew Finley sent me from Texas. Aren't these so pretty? So, that is what I got for my birthday. And I love them. Can you guys see how good of a job she did on here? Like, these are so pretty. So, 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 so pretty. I'm trying to make sure, like, there's there's papers and things laying up here that I don't think you guys want to see. Because um, they got personal information on them and bills and things like that. Um, but that is the display. And I just think it's so pretty. And these are just, like, starting to open up and everything yet. So those are going to last for quite a while. And... Oh, they smell so good. Oh, get right in there and smell them. They smell amazing. <laughs> and yes, I admit, it made me cry when they sent me flowers. It made me cry. Pretty flowers. Pretty, pretty. Pretty flowers. Just, ew, I got yanked. <laughs> um, and you guys, I don't know what it is about cats and flowers. Um, yeah, I know there's something here. I just got, I got petal smacked, man. <laughs> what was that? I don't know. But anyway, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I got pretty flowers? Yeah. Oh, no. Duh. Okay. Bring it in. Bring it in, girl. Um. My cat won't leave my flowers alone. Like, she wants to push them off the um, counter or she wants to eat them. Like, eat them. Like, I ain't playing, cat. Don't eat my flowers, man. Zoe will not leave them alone. So, <laughs> I keep moving them and hoping, like, she'll be distracted and not realize where I moved them to and things like that. But, no. Mm -mm. She keeps realizing where I move them, and then she keeps finding them and trying to eat my flowers. I'm not okay with that. And I'm afraid that, you know, she could get sick, or I know some are, like, really toxic and things like that, so, um, <clears throat> stupid cat. I love that stupid cat. She's annoying the crap out of me. <sighs> I'm coming to the conclusion, you guys, that... Maybe I'm okay with being in front of the camera right now only because that means I'm not doing the dishes. <laughs> yeah. That means I'm not doing what I should be doing. 
And I'm debating on, anyway, do I want to do the dishes right now? Or do I want to wait and do the dishes after we eat tonight? Um, that's another thing, you guys. I have not been eating decent. And by not eating decent, I mean, like, <laughs> I haven't really been eating at all. And, uh, I think I kind of touched base on this a little bit, um... Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I don't remember. But, uh, I am trying to preserve, is that the word I'm looking for? I am trying to keep the insulin that I have and use it sparingly. Um, I changed the settings in my pump and I lowered everything because with the new year starting, I don't really want to get into all that drama, but, um... Our deductible changed, our premium each month changed, and basically until we come up with like $3,000, nothing's covered for me. So I can't get my insulin. Um, I haven't been using a Dexcom for how long, so I haven't been sleeping because I bottom out at nighttime so bad, you guys. And without my Dexcom telling my T-Slim um, tandem pump that I'm dropping... It can't alert me, so I'm waking up and, like, bottoming out and then freaking out and, yeah, I don't know. So, I don't want to make this a woe is me wah story because you guys know that's not what this is about, but I've been just not eating. I haven't really been hungry, um, and then I figured the less I eat, the less insulin I need, uh, so... That'll at least help, I guess, try to preserve, try to hoard my insulin up. Um, but it's kind of worked for me. I've been toying with this huge, huge idea, you guys, of doing a water fast, which is super, super, super dangerous. It's not really, like, recommended, obviously, for diabetics. Unless you, like, have direct supervision and whatever of your doctor. But I've watched so many different people on YouTube doing these water challenges. And it's not a water challenge. It's a water fasting challenge, I guess. And I honestly can go for a couple days without eating anyway. So it wouldn't really be a challenge. The only thing that would be a challenge for me to do... Um, is if I do drop low, I would need some type of, I would be able to, I would have to be able to take like glucose tablets or something that would help juice or something, which kind of defeats the purpose of the water fasting. But um, I don't want to do it just to like lose weight, which obviously that is a huge reason, but it's not the only reason. And water fasting, you guys, you save so much energy from not having to how do I want to word this? When you eat something and your body is digesting it, it takes so much energy for your body to digest what you just consumed. And you save energy by not eating, and it's more of a detox than it is a fasting almost, because you're water fasting, but your body detoxes of all of the bad things that you put inside of it. So that's like another huge reason why I want to do it. But I talked to my endo about it, and she said absolutely not. But I know my body, and I really want to see what I could do. And I was thinking, like, it might be a really opportune time, considering that I don't have a Dexcom right now, and I'm not eating much anyway, so I don't know. I wouldn't need that much insulin, and I would just have to... I'm back to poking my poor fingers. I don't know if you guys can even see. Can you see that finger? Probably not, but like I said, I'm back to poking my fingers to get my um, blood sugars. And I'm having to do it like every couple hours because mine change so fast. And my body tells me like when I feel like I'm going to get low. So then I'm like, I can go and check and be like, oh, yeah, something up. I'm, I'm not, I don't feel good. I'm something's up. And then I can go and correct it. And I haven't had really any highs because, like I said, I haven't even really been eating. I had a piece of cake last night at my mom's. And it did nothing to my blood sugars anyway. 
Um, I was really worried about that last night, so I checked like a thousand times, and it, it didn't spike me up. It didn't do nothing. Um, so I don't know. Just something I'm toying with. If any of you guys have done like a water fasting, and for how many days, you should leave me a comment below and let me know what you guys think. Um, if you did it, if you liked it, if you lost weight, if you felt better, just all that kind of stuff. So, um, I do this, what do I want to call it, like, intermediate fasting, where it's kind of like fasting here and there, um, anyway, basically, that's kind of how, how things have been for me lately. Um, I know it's not necessarily good, it's not right, but it's one of the only things that has helped me lose weight is one of the... I don't know. When you, It's hard. It's so hard to talk about this and explain it because if you're not me, if you're not up inside my head, if you're not living my life and, and you know, you don't understand and you don't really know because everybody's different and that's a good thing because believe me, random is good. Unique is beautiful. And we're all randomly unique. We are. And I, what I do is not good for you and not good for Joe and Sam and Samantha and Betty and Bonnie, but it might be good for me. So I'm just going to leave that as that because I'm rambling. I feel like I'm rambling, but I finally, you guys, it's something about picking up the camera and talking to you guys, even though you're not technically here. Once I finally like force myself to just deal with the fact that I look like this, <laughs> um, and I start talking, then I realize how much I miss talking to you guys, even though, like I said, it's not like there's 300 and something of you sitting right here in front of me right now, because if there was, I would be freaking out, like, I would be like, uh, buh, 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 anxiety through the roof, don't look at me, oh my god, like, no! <laughs> but, in a sense, you guys are still here, and I can connect with you and talk to you without that, like, invasive, in-your-face, everyone staring at you kind of thing that so many wonderful people with social anxiety can't handle. So, in a way, YouTube is a release. Um, yeah. So, now that I'm talking to you guys, I realize how much I miss you guys, and that I like talking to you, and that is the only reason why I still make vlogs, because... There are so many of you out there that are just amazing supporters of me and my family, this channel. I never, you guys, I never believed that I'd get 70 subscribers. I never believed then that I would go to 100 subscribers. And then I'd be like, well, there's no way I'm ever hitting 500 subscribers. And then I hit 500. And then I was like, if I would ever hit 1,000, that would be like, mind blown style, you know? And then... It is just progressively went up and up and up. And it's not because of me. It's because of you guys, like, sharing my videos and liking them. And I don't know. Like, it is it is seriously, like, a heartwarming thing to me that anybody wants to listen to me, let alone how many of you. Because right now, I'm over 7,400 subscribers. And that's because of you guys. That's because you guys are amazing. And apparently, don't mind listening to me babble on about nothingness. Um, so, I do have other videos. Speaking of babbling on about nothingness, I know in my video I was all like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to make videos about this, I'm going to make videos about that. And I still plan on it. I honestly still plan on it. I even have some that um, are done and I'm just waiting to either edit or post or something along those lines. Um... I know a lot of you guys have asked me to do a what's in what's in your purse, and I'm definitely going to do one of those. Um, I just filmed actually a Fobonichi flip for all of you that love the diary and journal and doodles and washi tape and all of that good stuff. Um, I actually have a huge package from my friend Maria, and I'm saving that one because when I do that video... Um, I'm going to show you guys what all came in the package, and then we are going to do a junk journal page together. 
and uh, I have a whole playlist on my channel. It is, I'm dancing, like I'm in labor, like I'm doing the labor sway right now. What is happening? Stop. Okay, I'm sorry. If you guys just got seasick, I apologize. I didn't know I was doing that. Um, but I have a whole playlist of junk journals, uh, pages that I've done, and creating your own junk journal, like out of a composition notebook or whatever you want to use. I have a bunch of different tips and tricks and things and, you know, different ways to do stuff if you guys want to check those out and I'm going to be using a bunch of the stuff Maria sent me to do a big junk journal page or a couple pages because it's something I felt like I've been really slacking on and there's a lot of you that came to my channel because of the junk journal like crafty stuff so I want to make sure to give you guys something um I just got in this really big funk where I was just like I don't want to draw I don't want to like I shouldn't say that because I always draw like even if I'm just sitting at my desk while I'm working and I'm waiting on like a business call or something and I'm stuck on the phone on hold I'm like doo -doo 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 -doo, and then I end up drawing and doodling something like I can add actually a couple um, that I was like on Instagram <laughs> flipping through images on Instagram while I'm on hold for work flipping through images and I'm like okay she's cute that is the mood that I'm in. I'm drawing her. So then, like, I'm sitting there drawing while I'm, you know, supposedly working. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. So there's some of those. I just inserted some of them. Or I haven't yet, but I will. And, um, what else? I have a bunch of other things. Um, Jasmine wanted to do another Reborn doll haul. And she is so into Reborn still, you guys. It is amazing to me. Um, she's discovered that her Paradise Galleries doll from Ash and Drake is not necessarily a real Reborn. Like, she's to the point now where she wants a Reborn full body silicone. OMG, do you know how much those are? They're amazing. They are beautiful. They are... Huh. But she, like, seriously wants one. And I'm like, girl... <laughs> Mama can't even afford her insulin. She needs to survive. I can't be buying you a doll like that right now. Um, Cleo, what are you doing? What? What, Cleo, Cleo? Where are you? Oh, don't. Busting, busting crap up in the house. Um, the kids are not home yet. She's getting all crazy because she thinks it's 3 o'clock and she thinks the kids are going to be home and she wants to be outside waiting for them. So, even though they're not going to be home, I'm going to stop this right here and I'm going to go put her out because she's driving me crazy. She's driving me crazy. All right, you guys. I love you. I will try and come back on later. If not, I will pick this up with you guys next time. Hopefully, I'll remember to come back on and vlog and let you guys know how the crock pot stuff turned out. So, we'll see. All right, you guys. Later. Tell everybody where we are. We just left cost cutters. Crossed cutters. Not cross cutters. It is cost cutters. And you got you a new spiffy do. And uh, you're going to a dance tonight. Right? Yeah. You're going to a dance tonight. So you're going to get all spiffy niffied up. And we're going to go to Came Apart real quick. Came Apart. We are going to Big K. We are going to the Big K. We are going joke. to She's the like, Big did you K. Celebrate Christmas? I was like, well, not Christmas, Hanukkah. You did not say that. She should have trimmed this back part a little bit more. <sighs> and these are on clearance for three dollars, and then fifty percent off of that. So this is a buck fifty. Yes, I can do math. All right, guys. So as you can see um, in the footage before, I think I'll add that in here. We had no look, no luck finding Avery any khaki type pants at Kmart, so we went to Shopco and I found him a pair. My baby is officially in a size 30, 30 men's pants. Oh, I'm gonna cry. And he needed it because he's got a dance tonight. <laughs> 